streaming soon YouTube will appear good morning Fernando how are you today good morning good evening Etsy I am fine I am happy to be here with you and all the friends and to talk a little bit how are you doing I'm doing well it's a beautiful day here a sunny day summer day and I see that also our friend Rodrigo is here good morning Rodrigo how are you today Good morning, Yeti. Shalom, Fernando. I'm very happy to be here, and I, I'm very excited and waiting to to talk with our friends here on Discord and on YouTube. And thank you very much. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. And let's pop into the whiteboard. Let's pop all of us into the whiteboard. One second. Let me the streaming his. Let me stream the whiteboard into YouTube. It is streaming now. And let's see what is happening here. I'll get closer with the focus. And yes, Fernando, what would you like to present for us today? Eti, so we have this parasha, uh, Hukat, it mm -hmm. is the name. And uh, uh, first, before to start it, it's interesting. And I, I have to thank you because you always uh, incentivize and you always insp inspire us, you know. And I went to read this, this portion and I saw that many people speak that is a mystery, right? It's mm -hmm. a hook, a Israel. It's yes. like a mystery for most of the people. I don't know if I am right. It, if it you is, have ever is. heard this everybody tries to decode what is written here some people take it literally and they look for a red cow when a red cow will be born so like they look into the cow shed and, and this is a childish uh, I mean interpretation of the, the scriptures it is very deep and complex topic yes <laughs> yes <laughs> yes, yes, I, I am sure. And ah, I went to read a lot about it and I, I read stories that in that time when a red cow was born uh, for somebody, uh, it was like to win in the lottery, you know, it, <laughs> it was like the man became rich and, mm -hmm. and we have a lot of stories like this. But um, it is interesting because even the, the people who speak that is a hook, Mm -hmm. Israel. Uh, we have texts from almost two thousand years, like the Book of Sohar, and more recently we have Isaac Luria and other others from the tradition that opens what what could mean one possible way because it's infinite. But when we start to to study uh, the symbolic approach that these sages may did to to this topic we can see that it is possible to to talk about it right mm -hmm. to to think about it and not only uh, think that is a hawk from the lord mm -hmm. and we must accept you know like something yes. <laughs> uh, you know so let's talk about this if you could just read some verses because it is always good to to read the torah yes English or Hebrew, maybe Rodrigo. Rodrigo, would you like to read, please, the English? Do you see the text, Rodrigo? Numbers. Yeah, yes, I, I can. I can see it. Um, Numbers you... chapter nineteen. Yes. Thank yes, ver verse one to seven, right? Yes, Fernando, one to seven, and then we shall continue. Yes, excellent, yes. yes. Thank you. So, um, and the Lord spoke unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, This is the statute of the law, which the Lord hath commanded, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring thee a red heifer, faithless, wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came yoke, 
and ye shall give her unto Eleazar the priest, and she, she, shall, she, she shall be brought forth without the camp, and she shall be slain before his face. And Eleazar the priest shall take of her blood with his finger, and a sprinkle of her blood toward the front of the tent of meeting seven times. And the heifer shall be burned in his sight. Her skin and her flesh and her blood with her dung shall be burned. And the priest shall take cedar wood and isop and scarlet and cast it into the midst of the burning of the heifer. Then the priest shall wash his clothes, clothes and he shall bathe his flesh in water, and afterward he may come into the camp, and the priest shall be unclean until the evening. Thank you. Shall we continue, Fernando, in reading? Or it, I, I think it is already, the idea it's, uh, it is already exposed, because what I wish to point, it's about the, the work of the red cow, like what for what what it was meant it was to purify from the death right yes from the impurity of death because a man that was contaminated with with death and a contact with somebody that had passed away uh, couldn't enter in the mishkan and because it will blemish the, the mish mishkan like so it is a way to to purify oneself, right? Yes. S um, and uh, what I wish to point out about the Numbers chapter 19 that Rodrigo read, and I thank him, it's about the number 7 that we read, and the Book of Sohar emphasize a lot, True. right? True. That, uh, you know, uh, it was needed, like here, sprinkled her blood toward front of the tent of meeting seven times, and the book of Zohar, Zohar goes beyond what is written in the Torah and said that every uh, aspect of the cow uh, was needed to make it seven times, like to clean the, 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 the red cow seven times, to and everything that was related with the ritual, it was related also with the number seven. Mm -hmm. I think that if we could get only this idea, it is possible to open the conversation from what Luria, the Zohar, and all the the sages speaks could could it be a thing? yes i would like to open the word cow in hebrew one second here. yes they could because the structure of the word cow in hebrew already gives it l gives us the the idea that the bible expresses here and later in the sages uh, one second i'll take the board and now right i hope it's the right pen i start Para. Para. This is a cow, feminine cow. This is a feminine cow. When we take the last hay, this is uh, the hay that marks the feminine, and we put it in brackets. I mean, we put it in a frame, and we look into the stem letters. This is par. Peresh. Peresh is also par a bull. And we look into the value. Pay is 80, Resh is 200. Together we have 280. Without the zero, this is 28. 28 is basically 4 times 7, or 4 weeks, which gives us 28 or moon cycle. So a cow, feminine cow, the structure of the word cow in Hebrew refers to a moon cycle. This is to understand. And this is a beginning, as you this said. This is perfect. It. Yes, this number seven is in yes. the structure already. Yes, please continue, Fernando. No, it is. It is. Uh, 
it is amazing what you are saying and I thank you because this is the, the idea that uh, because now we can relate it with the moon cycle right yes. and the moon we know that it receives the light yes. it reflects the like light right yeah, true. and it's related with malhut true. i don't know if you could uh, draw the the tree of life yes, our of scheme that we always use yes one second The letters or just the spheres? What would you like to? Shall I draw the ten spheres? Just the spheres. Ju the sphere. Okay. Yes, yeah. just the spheres. Spheres here. Here and then we have here. Here Venus is here. Shabbat Shalom Venus. We are very happy that you are here. Here we have, and this is Shabbat. Malchut. <laughs> this is Malchut. Shabbat Shalom and Michelle, Michelle, greetings from Australia and Canada. Mm -hmm. Good morning and good <laughs> night. <laughs> yes. Okay. yes, Fernando. So we can relate it the, the Paradama with mm -hmm. the Malchut, with the last sphere, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's the moon cycle. And also, if we take the, like you said, the feminine, right? Malchut is the feminine sphere not because of the woman but about the vessel is the vessel is the one who receives all the light yes this is why it, it is feminine yes and when we take the para like you just wrote before we have the par that is 280 and Isaac Luria says that this word para that is 285 is related with the five sophit letters right yes yes i will write yes yes the 280 280 is also the value of the final letters final letters yes. mansapah yes which is mem yes Nun, Nun Sufit, Final Nun, Tzadi Sufit, yes, Pes Pe Sufit, and Chaf Sufit. Those are the final letters yes. here. Final and final feminine, interesting, F and F, final and, yes, related to Malchut. Yes. yes, and their value together is 280 because Mem is 40, Nun is 50, Tsadi is 90. Rodrigo, do you calculate? Yes, I'm follow, I follow here at uh, 100, yes, 280. Yes, 280 exactly. is the value of the all final letters in the Hebrew alphabet. Yes, Fernando. And what does Luria say about it? <laughs> yes. A and he, he uses another uh, aspect of mathematics because he summed the five letters itself yes. to get the 285. Yes. He, could s he says, he speaks that could be with the sum of the five letters yes. or to consider the five states of Gebura. Yes. So... So from this, he speaks that the paradama represents the the aspect of full development, like the the full manifestation. Yes, that is exactly what Weinreb speaks, because Weinreb also speaks that uh, the red cow represents the moon cycle and represents the development, the force of development. Uh, it is another way to to approach the same symbol and the Zakluria speaks that what is death I, this is the second si symbol that we need to, to talk about because the red cow the sacrifice of the red cow is meant to clean up the death impurity so from Luria perspective the death is not the body death you know it, it was not about somebody touching uh, a corpse, a cadaver. Yes. 
it was falling from one spiritual high to another lower spiritual high. This is death for Luria. True. True. So so now we can see, right, the, that the red cow is the force of development, the exterior, the manifested, uh, what goes to the, to when something is lacking, right? And to sacrifice it, to bring it to unity, as we're going to see, is to, is to bring back to the life to us. So if you could... Just come back to the tree of life, it yes, because the sure. red cow has some some characteristics. It it was not only a red cow, right? Yes, of course. Here it is. The book. Yes. Yes. The book of Numbers speaks that Luria speaks that the red cow, when we read in the, the book of Numbers, had to be pure, tamima, mm -hmm. and pure stands for yesod. Yes. L let me write tamima. Because it has a, an inner value as well. Tenima, innocent or pure? Yes. Yes. And the red cow also must be um, unblemished. One second. Yes. Let's s look into the Hebrew uh, term of it. Yes. Okay. Etty, yeah. may I say something? Yes. Yes, please. Sorry to interrupt you, Fernando. But when when Etty wrote the word Tamima, I immediately uh, realized that this word has the value of 495. Yes. And, <laughs> and has five letters. And have five letters. So following the Luria's uh, way of thinking, if we add the five letters to the to the value of the word, we get five hundred, which is uh, a very beautiful number that we know uh, the temple, the completion. So the purification yes. means this completion, this this full full hand. Just, just I noticed this and want to share. Sorry to interrupt you. No, no, it's Sorry. okay. This is okay. No, no. Yes, yes. No, please. Yes, it's it, great. It is true. It is true. Temima, innocent and pure, has the value of four ninety-five plus the five letters because each letter is one. So we have one, two, three, four, five letters. Gives us the five hundred full hand perspective or the temple perspective or. Uh, beyond time and space perspective or the hey yes fernando <laughs> it is perfect so tamima is related mm. with yesod that yesod. is the potentiality yeah. mm -hmm. the secret and the, the next one it's without um, uh, any scar any unblemished in bamum i think that is in Hebrew. yes mum. And this stands for hot, following Luria, okay? Yes. And finally, that had, uh, that never had worked, yes. that never had, uh, that I think that in Hebrew it's all. All, yes. There's a no, she, the, the cow, it is important that she's innocent, that she never carry a yoke, uh, how do you say? A burden. A yoke, yes. A yoke on her uh, yes, a nape. She was uh, never used as a slave or so. It is very important. Yes. As a working force. And this yes. is why it... Yes. Yes. And this is why Luria uh, speaks that the, the red cow represents the left side. Why? True. Because she never took a woke yoke. Yes. A yoke is to work, right? And to work, when we work, even against our will, we are working for somebody, right? Yes. We are doing something for others, even against our will. Yes. So this uh, paradama represents the will of res to, reci to receive. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that Bao Hasulam could say this. That is the will to receive because she never worked for anybody. 
she is red yes the red is related also with Pina uh, from Luria perspective uh, she had no uh, blemish uh, she was blemished she was pure and she was a cow as we see the cow represents the moon so the red cow represents the purification through the left side so it is a hard work it I, no one of well us would like to face the left side because it is where it, the darkness is right excellent excellent and the course of purification this is excellent through the kevua work through hod royalty through yesod and to malchut excellent Thank you. It, it it is not mine. It is from you. <laughs> from what it it it's an <laughs> excellent. Um, how do you say um, <laughs> a navigation system? Yes, it's an excellent yes. course. So just look how this works. It um, the, the the idea is to turn the red cow, the para aduma. It's interesting because aduma also it's adama. It is the same, it's the, the earth, it is Malhut, yeah. it also remembers Malhut, is to take this impurity and to bring it to ashes, right? To take yes. all this water, impure water, and turn into ashes, and we talked here this week that ashes is Afar, yes. Afar. Yes that is like the para becomes a far yes also luria speaks about this so we exchange the letter hey that is the feminine letter to the letter aleph right yes it is just this exchange of letters this is yeah. the purification process yes. okay and it um uh, and I was thinking, how can we like the? This is the the core uh, questioning that I and Rodrigo always ask. How can we have this uh, process of purification nowadays, right? And I was thinking about the psychic level. Mm -hmm. That is just one level, right? I'm not excluding the others, but it is one level. Because when we are grief, when we uh, when we lose somebody or something, and we are in the state of grief, and uh, this is the impurification because we cannot be happy, we do not have the simcha that is needed to as access the tree of life, right? True. Because to access the tree of life, we need the, to laugh, we need to be happy, we need to be, uh, uh, we need to be whole. So when something happened to us and we are with grief, we are impure. True. Because we do not have any access to this tree of life. So I went to, thinking about this, I went to an a article from uh, Sigmund Freud. That the, mo the name is uh, Mourning and Grief. Yes. Uh, in that time, th he didn't have the 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 term depression yet uh, but it is mo mourning and grief and it is amazing it because like i said the 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 luria start this text speaking what death means and he speaks that is a falling for from a spiritual place to a lower one right true and freud starts speaking that the grief it's a falling inside a falling <laughs> So, uh, I read that, I, I saw and I, I, I thought, well, and he, and Freud speaks that, uh, I will try to translate just a an, quote an uh, from the heart, that the psychic economy is organized around, around lacking something, that the missing object in addition to preventing the subject from experiencing homeostasy, the relaxation and the tranquility that will result from this homeostasis, 
the object, the external object, establish a desire. And this desire to obtain satisfaction through the conquest of this object that is external is what moves me almost all human. But in the mom moment when the, the one suffers the loss of this object, losing the object, he loses the object of project pro projection of his libido. And so the libido comes back to him, to himself, and invests in himself inside of him. So uh, I know that is a little abstract, but it is like the idea it, that when we have a beloved one or some object that we love, could be anything, our house or our husband, wife, whatever, son. This object, external object, uh, drives our libido, drives our libido and everything is fine when we have this object around us. But when we lose this object, for somehow, this energy that was available to this object comes back to you with full force. And if you do not have your inside psyche organized, it is a chaos, it is this impurity of death. This is what I, I found. Uh, we cannot, we feel like we do not have the life force uh, walking in us, you know. And it, it is amazing, one more fact, I, uh, please interrupt me because I'm talking a lot, but just one idea <coughs> is that Freud speaks that we have only two uh, states of the psychic devo development. One is when we have this libido flowing and it is progression and we have one state of regression that is when this libido stops to flow and we go to a regressional state and this regression uh, is the will to go to the world of our mother right so mm. I just want you to put this on a wallet and now Luria on his side speaks that <coughs> the red cow is the regression of the divine name and he I don't know if uh, of course you you have heard but it was the first time for me that he speaks that the red cow is related with the name of God Havaya mm -hmm. uh, in its regressive state it is like if we ha have the words the the letters Yod Hey Vav Hey Yes. We could read the, the, the divine name with Tet, uh, Dalet, uh, Hey, Dalet. One second, I'll write it. This is to read the name, but with the letter that come before. This is the name that I will make it like, one second, I'll choose the right ink. This is the name, the Tetragrammaton, in its fullness. Yes, and what does it mean, a regression of the name? Yes. Instead of letter Y. It is taking one. Yes, we take one before. Yes? No, please. Pl please explain. Yes. No, it's t it is just this. So, so but the, he, he made this, this, uh, this experiment it, with all the feelings letters. You know, like taking the name Havaya with the 72, with the 63, with the 45 and the 52. Yes, one second, I will write So it, it is a... <laughs> okay. One second, that, every, that people who watch and learn and listen, they will see what does it mean to have a regression in the terms of the name. Yes? This is what... Yes. This is what... What does it mean? If the value of the first letter, Yod, is 10, regression, it means minus 1, which is 9. Now, which letter in the Hebrew alphabet equals 9? This is Tet. 
continue. The second letter of the tetragrammaton is hey. Its value is 5. Regression minus 1 is 4. So we meet here the letter Dalet. Yes? This yes. is, this is uh, what Luria means, regression of the name. And as you mentioned, it's not just this name, because we have the name Tetragrammaton. This is a simple name, and we have the name of the Tetragrammaton with its filling, yes? Yod, Hey, and Aleph, yes. the values, and also this law or this way of thinking continues along the, the feelings of the name. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes Fernando. Thank you. And it is really complex and and we have a lot of mathematics it, but the mathematics from Luria stands that when we get all the regressive names this is state of regressiveness right we we get the number 285 when we sum up all all the names it is it is a lot of mathematics right it, but it, yes. it is just to point out that the paraduma represents when someone cannot see the name he only see the back of the name he only see the the letter that came before it is a back-to-back -back relationship yes could you please uh share with us the 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 four numbers with the the, the feeling the we have four numbers in when we get the the feeling the feeling of the, the letters. We have the 45, the 52, the 63, and the 72. Uh, this is the, the most uh, knowing uh, when we when we get the feeling, feeling of the tetragrammaton. But in this in this mathematics of Luria, uh, he found he found he got other, other, yes he 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 found others uh, numbers. Could you please share yes. with us? Yes, it's 62, uh, 64, 38, and 43. 62. And he make 62, 64, yes. 38, and 43. Yes. Okay. And also this Tet Dalet, Hey Dalet gives 22. Right. Yes. So to, to get to this uh, mathematic, uh, he takes this 22 mm -hmm. and he makes it plus 4 because we have, f uh, we, we miss 4 letters. So he takes 22 plus 4, that gives 88. It is not plus, it's uh, times 4. No, sorry. I'm sorry. Times okay. 4. Times Wait. 4. What times it was me? One second. So 22 times uh, 4, yes? 4, uh, yes. One second. Here I put pen. Double 4. And then we get? It gives 88. Eight. Yes. So, and he sums the 88 to these four numbers here. And, and there we get the 285. Like I said, it is a lot of mathematics and, and it is not easy to approach. Yes. Yes. But because the name of a cow in Hebrew is not just three letters, it's an image. And the image, as Van Rip says, reflects, reflects a mathematical inner order. And this is what we find. It's not a cow as we think, it's a cow uh, in a cow shed. Yes, but it's the structure of the letters yes. in Hebrew that represent mathematical absolute order. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Fernando, yes. this is wonderful what you uh, did. <laughs> I, I'm going to quote here in English, Eti, mm -hmm. uh, how he ends this idea. He speaks, thus the Hefer embodies the retrogression of the normal name or normal divine consciousness that results from the con contact with death. This is the idea that in the book of Sohar also speaks that 
we are meant to be immortals. We feel that we are immortal. But we are only immortal when we are uh, in contact with the divine name. So the red heifer represents the impurity of death. It's when one it's in back to back with the divine name. He is not seeing that he the tree of life. He's turning his back to the tree of life. And and it just one idea to and I, I think that I, I speak it a lot and it is very abstract. But look how is sensible the dynamic of the psyche. Because when we go up to the tree of life from the left side and make this purification, because all of us already felt this, this death in purification somehow, when we lose the object of love. And you need to turn that water into ashes. Okay? And once you turn it to ashes, the work is not done yet. Uh, why? It? Because in the story of the Book of Numbers, after the, this, this idea of the head cow, what happens? It? Medium, that is the water, uh, yeah. is gone. The water is gone. Also the pure water, it is gone. Uh, she she, she died <laughs> yes. just after the red cow. L right? And the yeah. people of Israel loses the mind sure. and uh, so it is uh, it is not only to become ashes to become dry as dry land you need to dry it up but you need to bring back the the, the bring back the water and in this story now i'm really going to the end what i can I can can bring we have the story that moses um needed to 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 take the 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 water from the rock true. right it true true and 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 here points uh, the idea from the balanced way could you please uh, write rock it yes i know that i am ask asking a lot no 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 you are not asking a lot at all <laughs> let's say rock in hebrew sela Sela, I'll just move into Sela. 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 This is an insight from a friend. It. Yes. And could you please uh, write it down in a vertical way? Yes. Sela, like this. This is what yes. you meant. Sela. And yes, and put its feeling like summer, lamed. A nine, like in three columns, like in three columns. This yes. is what you mean. Summer. Yes, Lamed. This is seventy-four. Yes. And Ain, this is seventy. The feeling of the letter yeah. is how uh, we write the, how we pronounce the letter yes. Ain. This is I explain to yes. people who come on YouTube. And then we have it one thirty, yes. Yes, and uh, and Moses uh, had to beat two times in the rock, right? It. Yes, yes. It is like he was beating the right side, and the left side. Could you just put a, a mark on the the right, right the, in the, the left. letters that? This is the right side. Yes. And this is the left yes. side. I'll put another color, maybe, that we can see the right. He yes. beat. Maybe I will. Bo I will uh, make it. Yes, a yellow that it will be visible to see no, the two. It is perfect. Yes. Yeah. He beat in the two sides, right? Yes. And what left in the middle? It. It is the word mind. We can form the word mind. Excellent. The middle Excellent. The and what is left? He beat. He he was quiet. He did not speak, and he because God asked him speak to the rock. Speak to the rock, yes. but he was silent and he uh, beat the the rock twice. And what does it 
mean to beat to sum up the letters and then what we are left is in the middle line and the middle line mem mem and yod this is mine this is excellent excellent mine yes the mime is the middle line you know yes. it is in the middle the, the the pure the pure water it is in the middle line so the red cow it is just an and start pro a starting process it it is not the end process you know it is just it is just one part of the task that is related in this this book of number it is when we went all to development and we need to stay inside of us we need to organize our home inside but this is just one part of the process the second part of the process is it is to relate with the external world that is the other column but the mind mind it's only true what relates the internal and the external that is the conversation the articulation the the articulation of the speech you know because you you are trying to communicate your speech so so this this was the ideas that came at you from studying the, the <laughs> this this uh, sacrifice of the red count from a psychology point of view right and also <laughs> kabbalistic point of view the conversation uh, that you you bring here is the zohar itself you are writing the zohar with with a friend yeah, you're you're writing the Zohar while you speak it. It's it is wonderful, and I would like to thank you on the behalf of all of us. I never I seen I or <laughs> read such a uh, an explanation of this wisdom. Never, never. This is the first time we see that. <laughs> first time. I just took the Luriate, and what I I learned from you, just one thing that came it because you speak it about the 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 film the secret of the rose yes right yes and the film on the secret of the rose uh, people were uh, forbidden to laugh right yes. and yeah. to read yes and when i started to read the book of 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 zohar when they take the red cow they related wi it with the red hose rose and they quote the Shoshana, like the the song that Philippe played to us. Yes. The that is the the, the beginning of the song of songs. True. And Shoshana is the secret uh, that they speak to the red cow as well. And I learned here that Shoshana is six six one, I think that is equal to Esther, the secret of Alice, Aleph, right? Yes. So it is the same idea to find inside of us the Aleph, to find the, the Afar, the Aleph, the unity inside of us. Yes. So it is a lot of ideas, it, it's, uh, it's infinite, like I said. It is wonderful, Fernando. I would no. like to thank you again yeah, and again and awesome. again. <laughs> uh -huh. And I brought some 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 paintings here. I think we could see also. Maybe yeah. could clarify a little bit more. Yes. Which painting would you like us to focus in? Bo both uh, the title of both are melancholia, right? Yes. This one is more simple because for me it quote it, it just demonstrate the back to back relationship, you know. Like the woman is back to the sun that is their zer and pin. The woman is malchut, and she is turning her face away from the sun you know it is losing 
the contact with the tree of life, with yes. the great of the, the universe. It is looking only to the shadow side. And the other one, I think, if you <laughs> could yes, go, yes, of uh, course. it is ha ha have more si symbols. Uh, and we also can see this back to back relationship because we have a rainbow. That rainbow is Yesod, right? Yes. And we have a son that is Tiferet. And we have a woman that is in back to back relationship with it. It is not seeing the beauty of the world. It is only with her thoughts and we can see a time here relating the time and space and the judgment here in with this balance and everything is said in this picture and even and I saw also these numbers yes please please it and please. here at her feet there is a, a cow no a very thin cow Oh, a, a very weak Looks cow. Looks like, right? Yes. Exhausted cow. Yes. And at her feet there is a knife. Yes. And it's not clear yes. what, what is the aim of the knife. And there's like nails. And it seems that she's holding, uh, um, how do you say, uh, engineering tool. How do you say, compass, compass. or something? She is trying yes. to circle to yes. find a center, maybe in herself. He, she's lacking a center. This is why she yes. said, a person without a center, and this is to understand, our center, each and every one of us, it doesn't matter where we live, what kind of life we have, I mean, on, on paper, what language do we speak. Uh, our center is the tree of life is balance also our balance is the middle once we are off comes all kinds of moods and modes yes it, we are not in the center this is wonderful it is what freud says he speaks that we are looking always to the missing object we are mm -hmm. always feeling lacking here in this <laughs> you know uh, this is interesting and and that numbers it, it took my attention also yes. please rodrigo if you see something yes here at the right the under the bell you mean yes uh yes. All, all columns all columns we if we add the numbers we get the number 34 in in all yes. all ways exactly. horizontal or vertical or uh, even at the diagonal the diagonal if we if we add the numbers we always get the number 34 and I believe it's lacking the number five here when we get the Pythagoras triangle we have the three and the four but missing the number five in this this picture and and she is in the back you know she's showing her back to these numbers yes she's lacking these numbers you know there is she, she's not looking at this Yes, you know what is interesting that three and four, if we add zero to it, we find the word shame, which means the name. But also it's the value of a book, Sefer, Sefer, book, a book that can illuminate us. And she is in a way turning her back, though it's written on the wall, <laughs> the five as uh, yeah. Rodrigo says, it's not appearing there, uh, how do you say, frontally, but it's in there as a secret. Yes. So she, she's turning her, it's beautiful. Everything around her could, could he lift up her spirit. The rainbow, the sun, the beautiful beach behind, the sefer, the shem but she is turning her back you know. it is no, interesting no, no, yeah no. yes no no i, I realize it uh, could be an angel not a woman now i can see the the, the yes yes the wings and yes this is yeah, this is the interesting wings, yes. the wings the wings yes. yes and 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 in 
in her hands is uh, not not a, a pen or pencil, but uh, something like as a compass. Yes. Yes. It is quite interesting because above the numbers there is a bell. Bell in Hebrew, pa'amon, pa'amon, like a church bell. Pa'amon. Without the vav and the nun, because this is like ending of letters like in Greek, on, we have pa'am, which means time. The value of pa'am, which is time, is what? 80, 70, 40. What is 190? Chava. Eve. Very good. Chava, Eve. And as Vine Reb said in the in the quote that we uh, posted on Discord, when a person turn his back to time, because sometimes time helps a person, brings cure, but when a person turn his back mm -hmm. uh, to time, as the forces of development are um, taking over, and the destructive element in a person works over time. Beautiful. Amazing. And we have a sulam here in the house. Yes, a sulam. <laughs> the amazing thing is she's turning her back to everything that could could bring joy and gratefulness because the sulam also we have this this idea of to to go to the tree of life, right? To yes. Sulam uh, by itself it's one hundred because sulam is one hundred and thirty. Yes. 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 Five times the tetragram. Yes, a full hand perspective and love. Yes, sulam leather. It is the number five. Now I see. You know it. You said that the number five was uh, invisible, yes. but it's represented yeah. here in the sulam. Yes. Yes, and 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 now we get a keruv on her side, and and the keruv looks sad also. A little angel yes. inside. Yes, because she. I, she I, I, yes. I mean, no, I believe uh, the Kiruv is sad because uh, the woman uh, don't get, uh, don't give attention. Don't yes, attention. yes, he's drying out because he doesn't get any attention or space. Her depression is taking the whole space. Her Could gravity. You say that is yes. Yes, Fernando. It's the burati, maybe. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yenuka or the Ibur. Mm. Yenuka is the, you mean the... the, the creative. Yes, the creativity is being stopped and choked. He's almost yes. dying while sleeping, while sitting. She's, her gravity, her depret, how do you say? Her depression uh, gravitates everything and the creativity is being choked. This little child, boy, Yenuka, baby, toddler is being choked. He cannot express itself. It's not him as a baby, but it's the power of expression and creativity in us. He's being dragged down into the grave of gravity, of depression. It could, could represent the lack of conversation because there is no conversation in this, in this painting. Yes, like she could. Yes, it's true. Like Fernando said, she could turn and have a conversation or give attention to every object or element here: the rainbow, the shore, uh, the leather, the the little, little angel, the cow, the bell, the time. Everything she could turn with her words and like blow life in it. What does it mean? A conversation to blow life. But instead of it, she is choking, she's taking everything in into the darkness. She is gravit. It is interesting. F uh, people of physics, the science uh, of physics, they speak about black hole, uh, black holes in the outer space. Yes. 
but the black the biggest <laughs> black hole is inside of a person when a person uh, sink into depression it's a black hole that's it it just how do you say uh, suck everything dries everything We can also think it, it is, is amazing, because we can also think in parts of the soul, like the, the instinct, the nephesh. Yes. The nephesh, it is always, it is always perishing, it is always bad, you know, in a bad shape. Yes. The ruach, it's always, in, it is always suffering, it is, al it is suffering as well. And the neshama, maybe, it, it is being ignored. So when somebody it's, is it is in this state, uh, all the parts of its being is suffering, and you could turn to anything, you know. Uh, I we we know stories when people can can be saved by turning to a, a pet, a dog. Yes. Yes. Anything, you know. You you just need to turn to turn to other, right? Yes to pay even attention to it is interesting um, two days ago I was riding the bicycle and there was a red light and uh, you have to stand and it's the sun is burning so I turn and look at the tree there was eucalyptus and the eucalyptus has like uh, white spots or white bubbles it's not a regular appearance of eucalyptus it seems that eucalyptus was ill or sick so if a person would not just move around and walk around next to the trees, but suddenly you notice that the tree has a condition, he suffers from illness or something. So there are many things around us that are trying to communicate to us, whether it's a bee or it's a sunset or it's a shape of a leaf or sound of water. Everything speaks and communicates. All the nature is a great as system of communication the waters uh, are communicating to uh, let's say um, the iceberg in the North Pole are speaking to the iceberg in the South Pole we uh, are not aware of it but there is a communication all the time the birds they are in communication the butterflies they know where to fly sometimes they change the lane of flying in appearance everything is communicated but it uh, depends on us if we are opening uh, opening ourselves up to this communication or we close the curtain or and sink in darkness and depression. A.T. Yes. It's amazing what you are saying. And came another uh, mm -hmm. aspect of secret of this passage that yeah. I almost forgot. Yes. Uh, I put here a quote from Ecclesiastes. Yes. Just, um, just below. Yes. That is one interesting fact that people speak that this red cow is a hook to Israel. It is a secret for Israel. Yes. It become it it is because it seems that the king Solomon uh, tried by wisdom. Uh, to understand the secret, but he couldn't. Did you ever heard this, Yeti? That I heard. Th that Sol the King Solomon couldn't uh, learn about the red cow. Yes. Yes. And for me, it was kind of uh, what I I try to to understand is that King Solomon has a symbol. Yes. He is the shalom. True. He is not lacking anything. He has everything. He has, and also he has the wisdom that is in the right side is Chokma. Yes. Right. Yes. So this is why he couldn't understand the red yeah. cow because red cow is on Bina and on the left side. Yes, this is it. Why it is considered? It is far from him. Far, far. Yeah. Shalomo. Yes. Shalem is complete and has the peace and has the wisdom on the right 
and and the red cow is on the left this is white far from him far far because he's complete the red cow means lacking yes means when we are lacking for something so <laughs> this is why you know yes that's correct Thank you so much. Thank you for this. You no, know, I thank you, you and Rodrigo and Venus, Michelle, and everybody for the patience, Andrew. Thank and you so much. And thank you so much for opening it. I stayed uh, thinking about this, and and it is overwhelming. So I just want to thank you all for thank your you patience and for opening. Thank you for uh, how do you say your uh, will. Uh, will to uh, to go along and to open yourself up to this uh, those uh, infinite studies i would like to thank you on the behalf of all of us for having the ability to be open and to share thank you so much rodrigo fernando friends on youtube venus andrew michelle for participating here I would like to wish all of us Shabbat Shalom, wonderful week ahead and pleasant seasons in each hemisphere of the planet. Toda and Shabbat Shalom. Thank you Amen. very much. Toda, Eti, Toda, Venus, Andrew, Michelle, thank Rodrigo, you. thank you so much. Thank, thank, you, so thank much. you, Fernando, congratulations. Thank you, Eti. Shabbat Shalom to everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you. Shabbat Shalom. Bye-bye. Shabbat Shalom.